This video will cover the topic, solving a basic trigonometric equation involving sine or cosine. A basic trigonometric equation may look like this. Will we need to solve for theta in this equation? Yes, we can solve this equation for theta in terms of pi. If we add 1 to both sides, we see that cosine theta equals 0. This means we need to find the angle that gives us a cosine, or x value, of 0. If we take a look at our unit circle, we see that in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, there are exactly two angles that satisfy our equation. Theta equals pi halves, and theta equals 3 pi halves. We also need to realize that any angle coterminal with pi halves or 3 pi halves will also satisfy our equation. These coterminal angles can be obtained by adding integer multiples of 2 pi. Therefore, all solutions of cosine theta equals 0 consist of the following angles. Any angle above has the form pi halves plus k2 pi or 3 pi halves plus k2 pi, where k is an integer. Is there a way to identify that k is an integer in our solution? There is. We can use the symbols k element z to represent this. The symbol that looks like an e means is an element of and the symbol that looks like a z represents the set of integers. So by writing k element z at the end of our solution, we identify that k is an element of the set of integers. Is this our final solution? We could leave our answer like this. However, in this case, we notice that the two solutions can be condensed into one. Since 3 pi halves is pi halves plus pi, we can write our solution as theta equals pi halves plus k pi k element z. Okay, I think I understand this topic. When solving a basic trigonometric equation involving sine or cosine, we should be familiar with the unit circle and the notation in which we need to write our answer. That's exactly right. Great work!